Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer. I'm here to do your six month forecast, July through December, the end of December. The very last card that goes down here will be an oracle card and that's gonna bring you into January. It's gonna be a summary of your, of your six months, okay? So this is for the sign of Aquarius for July 2018 through December. Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? This is just a general reading, okay? This is, so it may not resonate with you. It's not a private reading, okay? Bits and pieces will resonate. We're gonna cover home, work, finances, love, and overall, an overall energy, and we're gonna have an oracle card over here on the end, okay? So this is just gonna be, you know, a little bit about each of those categories for the month, okay? And then I'm going to do a conclusion at the end, okay? A little conclusion. So this is for the sign of Aquarius for July through December 2018. It's a big spread. So as we go, I'm going to be zooming it in. As we go, I'm going to zoom in to the spots that we're at. July, home, work, finances, love, and it's you, it's you, and it's in the love department, okay, it's, it is the star card, that's beautiful, overall, and then I'm going to put an oracle card here, your overall energy, this is July. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle and get the rest of the spread pulled out. August. What do you have for August for Aquarius? Home. Work. Finances. Love. Overall. September. What, is, what do they need to know for September? Home. Work. Finances love overall I'm just gonna get out of the way so I can bring down October October for Aquarius home work finances love overall energy November November 2018, what does Aquarius need to know for November? Home, work, finances, love, overall, and December, December 2018 for Aquarius, December. Now I'm just going to get the Oracle cards real quick. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, six-month forecast. What do you have for July? What do you have for July? Imagination, beautiful. What do you have for August? What about September? October? November? And December. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom right up to the top there for July and we will start this reading right out. Okay. We're at July. So for July, in your home, we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. This tells me that you may not be, you may not be investing in your home as much as you should. You may not be uh, as satisfied at home as you usually are. Things may not be paying off the way that you'd hoped, or things may not be working out as quickly as you hoped not happening something isn't happening in your home that you would like to be happening 
Um, it feels as though there's something that is unrealistic. Something is, maybe you're, you're wanting something to do in your home or something that is happening that isn't, it's very dissatisfying, whatever. Something is going on in your home that is causing some dissatisfaction. It's not working out the way you had hoped. Um, maybe you just need to wait a little bit longer, whatever it is. If you Maybe if you were looking to buy a house or, or move or something like that, it's, not, it's probably not happening as you'd hoped. If you are stable in your home, there could be some, 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 something that's happening that, you know, isn't making you happy, okay? Maybe, maybe things are falling apart or something isn't happening. You're not getting what you wanted. If you wanted to do home improvements, maybe it's not happening, happening as quickly as you'd like. Something is dissatisfying in your home life in July, okay? It's just not as, it's not where you want it to be, okay? The next area is your work, okay? So as far as your work goes, we have the magician reverse. You could have somebody that has some tricks up their sleeve, so be careful. You could be working with somebody who is a manipulator, a liar, um, very, very cunning and crafty, and they, they could be bringing you down. I'm going to get a clarifier on that one. As far as that magician, they could be trying to sabotage you in some way, okay? So just beware. You you know, there's a lack of uh, integrity here with another person. I don't think it's you. I feel as though there's some some level of deception in the, in the work arena. It's affecting your happiness. It is. It is affecting your happiness at work. You know, you just want to be happy. You want to be able to work together with people, but you're dealing with another person who is shady. There's a shady individual that is probably jealous of you in some way, so just, just beware. Here in the finances, we have uh, justice reversed, so... You're not receiving justice financially, period. You're not getting what you're worth. You're not. Somebody doesn't see what you're worth. Somebody, um, you're being treated unfairly as far as finances go. It's like you, you're you worth a lot more. So I feel like um, as far as finances go, you may not be feeling very uh, financially content at this time because you know that you're worth more. You do. You know that you're worth more and it feels like you know, things could be costing you money as well. There could be some legal issues that you're dealing with that are costing money. Maybe you have to pay some fines. You know, maybe you have to pay for something that... has to do with um, collections or something like that. There's a, there's a, a negative influence in your financial arena, okay? And it has to do with... Um, paying back, paying out money. So I think that, you know, you probably will have to to dish out some money that you probably didn't want didn't don't want to dish out. So just, you know, it is what it is, right? So in your love arena, we do have you, which is the star card. We have wish fulfillment. So you should be feeling pretty happy in your love arena. If not, you maybe you're gonna you're you're gonna get your wish. I'm gonna get a clarifier on this card. It does appear that there's a lot of hope. Maybe you have a lot of hope. Um, for love. Maybe you're feeling really inspired about love at this time. I see that um, you're probably looking very beautiful at this time as well. People see your beauty, put it that way. Um, you may not be taking action in love right now because you're, you're going through some sort of healing as well with that star card. It feels as though you're, you are probably vibrating at a very high level in July. You are looking good. You're feeling good. You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your inner and your outer self. I see a lot of healing going on within you. So you may not be really offering or focusing on a love relationship. It may not be at the top of the list because I think that that this month you're really focusing on you. I think that's what's going on here. It appears to me that you guys are going through some sort of, even like a rebirth of some sort within your soul. It does. It just looks like you guys are really finding peace of mind with who you are. So you may not be taking action, you know, 
um, impulsive action towards love. It's just a very serene time for you. It's, it's at ease. I just see that you guys are right in your own element in July. And things are, are really, really easy for you. And you probably are drawing in people. If you're single, people can see your beauty. Put it that way. They can see your serenity. They can see the, the peace within you. So I feel as though, you know, you are probably... Um, you're probably feeling loved, and a lot of it is self-love. And when you love yourself to that extent, people are drawn to you. So I feel like it, it is, as far as in the love arena goes, there's a lot of peace and harmony, and it starts with you, okay? It just looks really good. I don't feel like anybody is rushing in, because that's the Knight of Wands reversed. I don't, feel like, I don't feel like anybody is rushing in to sweep you off your feet, because you're probably not looking for that. You know, and maybe some of you are. This will not resonate with everybody. But maybe you're just working on yourself. You're still going through some sort of renewal. You are, because that's, that's what it is. So as far as the overall, the overall uh, energy for this month of July, I see that you there's victory and success here. There's also a lot of respect. You're being recognized. Uh, Aquarius, you're being recognized for who you are, and it's 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 clear that you are with the star right next to that that overall energy. I can see that, you know, you're probably really highly respected during this month. You know, uh, you're probably you may be invited to some sort of work gatherings. Okay, you could or anything. You could be invited to a wedding. I see you guys going out and and looking good and feeling good and having fun. Um, you know, and and really, I see a lot of high, high self-esteem here overall in the month. Even though, you know, in finances, things might be a little shady or whatever. But that's that's whatever. That Who cares about that, right? It's really about your happiness. And I think you're happy despite the financial issues that you're going through. There could be some legal issues that are bringing you down financially, but it's not affecting your outlook on life. You're peace. I see that you're at peace this month in July. You know, you're not acting impulsively in, at any, in any way. It's like you guys are completely at ease and you're highly respected for who you are. I feel as though you're definitely being recognized and you're probably receiving invitations um, to get out and about and, and, and um, invitations to go, to go to things with people, okay? So I feel like... It really looks like a good month of July for you. I'm going to get a clarifier for that Six of Wands, even though I don't really need one. I see a lot of victory and success here because you guys are manifesting it. You guys have, you're feeling, because when you feel at peace, you bring that into your life. You bring more of it into your life. You bring recognition. You bring people that see your worth into your life. And so I feel like that is exactly what is happening as far as your home life goes, though, that's where we need the clarifier. You are being called to have strength as far as your home goes. You know, it, it appears that you need to find your own power. Perhaps you're dealing with somebody that is younger than you. Maybe it's even a child or I don't know who it is. could be somebody that you live with that is causing some sort of upset and you're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to restrain yourself during this time. Something in your home life is, is upsetting. It's dissatisfying. And you're going to have to remain strong, restrained, you know, act with, with tact and grace, you know, um, to get through this um, dissatisfying situation, whatever it is. Something is, is kind of awry in the home. And you're just going to have to be strong and restrain yourself and hold yourself back from... Um, freaking out okay just saying um i do feel like this is a month of 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 uh success for you it's going to be a successful month where you guys are really allowing yourself to feel at peace imagination i embrace i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind and that's what's going on here, too. You guys are using your imagination to bring serenity and peace and happiness into your life. And it's happening. It is happening. 
I feel, I see a lot of confidence here as well. We have confidence here and confidence there. And the star card, I mean, you guys are right in your own element, okay? So you guys are feeling confident and people can see your confidence this month. They can. And they can see that you're very thoughtful. You're not, I mean, you are. With the star card and this knight of... Uh, wants he's thinking before acting and you're being thoughtful here too you're being very thoughtful this month i don't see you guys acting impulsively and making any um big mistakes at all because i think that you guys are 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 totally aware of of where you're going you know you you you're right in your own element there's no confusion here okay I feel like July is a month of being recognized for your beauty, inner and outer, okay? We're going to take a quick look at August. King of Cups in your home? Hmm. In your work, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Still issues at work. In your finances, three of pentacles reversed. Still still struggling just a little bit in your finances. Um, in your love, nine of wands reversed. In your overall outcome is the queen of wands reversed. We are going to stop right there. If you'd like to continue on with this reading for, the, for August through December, feel free to click the Vimeo link below. See you there.